It's dope. So, when I was going through my bag, I found my light. So, now I can do videos at night. So, if I end up taking a um, gig shift that's at night, I can record at night. So, I, I want to talk to y'all here because I learned a lot in the last three weeks. That's right, the last three weeks about doing this gig stuff. And I come to the conclusion that if I wanted to, with the YouTube component and the amount that I made, I could actually make this, I could do this full time. I, I mean, just now, and we'll talk about in this video, I turned a $13 order. Let me see if I can do my math. I'm going to estimate, but I'll have the full breakdowns over here when I get to those sections of the video. So, I took a $13 shipped. It was originally 8 but I let it go all the way up to 13 and some change was the base pay. Now, on a ship, they don't tell you the tip. So, we'll get on to it with the tip. And then I took a um, $14, $13, $14 um, Instacart order, but I dropped the second part of the order. And I was happy I did that for the Wegmans because the Wegmans portion of that delivery was actually close to Wegmans. So it worked out. And while I was checking out at Wegmans, I took a $6 and some change, almost $7 Chick-fil-A delivery. So, so I, you know, all that together, if let me do my math real quick. So... End up being five dollars. Let's say six. Let's say seven. That's uh thirteen. So twenty six dollars. So I turned thirteen dollars some change to twenty six dollars and so change twenty seven. I'm not. I, I was happy with that. But now that I'm back at the crib, I'm checking my numbers before I go inside. And the um, Chick-fil-A, I'm still waiting on the tip to come through. But I think it's going to stay at the 6 $7 range. But the Instacart that I um, did, I almost made that amount with just the first part of the delivery. I didn't make 14 but I made 11 $12 range on top of that. And here's the kicker. And the um, ship portion of it went up. That's right. It went up to almost $40. So at the end of the video, I have the breakdown of the final payouts for each order. It was three different apps, Shipped, Instacart, and Uber. But if my math is correct... I turned all that, let's say 7, let's say 12, that's um, 18, 19, let's say 18 on the low end, and uh, plus 40. So I made roughly, if my math is correct, in the range of uh, $57. I made $57 only working an hour and a half with three orders on three different apps. And this is why you need to multi-app. Get on as many platforms as you can because you might have opportunities like this one where it worked out perfect. I did the Instacart delivery first. That was early because I didn't have to pick up the second part. I did the Chick-fil-A after. And then the last delivery was the was the um ship delivery it was only five minutes late five minutes late and i made almost forty dollars on that delivery so today is a motherfucking good day it is i made 57 58 on three orders on three different apps 
And, and, and that's another thing too on Shipped. The thing I don't like on Shipped, but I'm glad it happened this way, I waited. I waited because it was originally $8 and went up to 13 before I took it. And I got that excellent tip on top of that $13. So today was a good day. I, I made a total of about $77. I'll put all of the um, totals at the end of the video for this portion of the three deliveries I did. Plus, plus the total I made today because I made $19 before that so i'll put all the screenshots at the end of the video and you'll get to see that so man today was an excellent day and like i said in the beginning of the video if anything taught me anything today or these last three weeks of doing gig work if i want to i can make this a full-time gig with the youtube component teaching y'all how to make money because I made seventy-seven dollars in a change today, today, and I didn't work that much. I went out this morning for two hours, made made twenty, or on two small orders, and then I got these easy orders and made fifty, fifty-seven, fifty-eight. Mad easy day. Mad easy day. Man, if I would have worked all day, I could have easily made over a hundred. Easily made over a hundred. So I'll put all the totals at the end so you can see all the dang this light keeps turning off. Sorry about that. The light turned off on me. But this is good news. Now I don't know if it's like this because people are getting their checks. Because it's tax season, or this was like when you grind on these apps and you get high on the tier. Cause I, cause I'm doing good on these apps, or maybe I'm just getting lucky. But I benefit because I work in three different markets: the DMV market, the Red Brick House, and then the market I'm in now. And I'm making the money I want to make. I mean. $77 for three and a half hours total what I worked today is, is good money. That's over $25 an hour. Easily. I didn't have to work hard for it. So let me get up out of here. And I'm glad that I had this opportunity the last three weeks to kind of experiment and get all these orders and do gig work because I'm finding out when I put the time and effort into it and I'll teach y'all how to do what I do on later videos but to know that just about every day but Tuesday I can make the money I want to and even Tuesday I can make the money I want to but it's just not it just take a little bit longer, but hey, it's good. And I like the flexibility that gig work gives me because if I don't want to work or I need, you know, some time off to go run some errands or do something else, I got that time that's okay. I can go do A, B, and C, and I can turn the app on and get something else that's worth me picking up. And the other good thing, too, is in the three markets I work, I'm in a good location where I can just sit at the house and wait for a delivery to come to me. Now, I'll expand more on that on another video, but I'm, I'm leaning towards more doing the gig work and working on this YouTube channel because it's doable. It's doable. That's, that's where my heart lies in is doing the gig work. So I think that's what I'm going to be moving towards is doing the gig work and trying to find other opportunities in the gig space where I can make my money. And y'all will come along for the ride. I'm still looking for a catering app that I can do in all three markets. But we'll explore that 
on another video at another time, at another date. But this is MAF Giggy Khan here. And I'll see y'all in the next video or live stream because I'm gone. Like Mr. Vontae Davis. Oh, and I got a treat for y'all at the end of the video. I got a treat for y'all. I, I, I do. Because I need to share this. I need to share this on my channel. And y'all see why. During the draft. And I'll see y'all soon. Peace. <laughs> But he, but he, you know, Sir gonna play the the hell out of. He's gonna play good yeah. next to you. The who better behind me? Oh, what's the pick? What's the pick? Watch this. What? Why do we get a wide receiver? Why do we get a wide receiver? Why do we get a wide receiver? <laughs> Somebody on defense. Oh, Come on, Daniel Jones ain't that good. So he need weapons. Get a boy some weapons. He's got Jerry, he's got Jerry and Slayton, and he's got um what you call it out there on the on the out in the slot. Come on. Wrong with that, your weapons, Rob. Be happy <laughs> oh, you got Evan Ebron out there, and you just signed it uh Look at your fan base, oh, you got, they're excited. No, oh, no, you, you got Kyle Rudolph. Look at your face. No. Wait, y'all got Kyle Rudolph, y'all got Holiday. Yes. Yes. And now y'all got that? You're stacked, bro. You good. No, I need defense. Like Cowboys yeah, but, are offense now. Like Daniel Jones. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. If I was him, I would be crying right now. But you got I a wide receiver. I do not want a wide receiver. Kyle Pizzle's happy. Thing. Hey, hey, hey. That's yeah. Kyle Pizzle. Yeah. I don't got a wide receiver, receiver. and three more picks. Three more yeah. picks. Yeah. You got three yeah. more yeah. picks, brother. And Surly Shepard. And no offensive line to keep Eli Manning upright. Well, okay. Daniel Jones. Or as we like to say, Jamaica laid down flat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but again, they've got. Tons, tons I did not want Elvira. You to pick them later on in the later round. You, you, you need a hug. I'm gonna tell you right now. Yeah, go. She you want a donut? The New York Jersey Bring out the donut. All right. Aww. Rasheed, there's no crying in football. Hey. I feel bad about that linebacker right there. I feel bad about that linebacker right there. And he played with Kyle Pitts. All right. And he's 5'11"? Oh. So is Galladay. Y'all got two small ones. Y'all made 5'11"? Galladay the same height as you. Oh. Oh. Climb me a river while I see you. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Ripping through the defense. Y'all gonna be alright. That could be the next Odell Beckham Jr. Oh, we're not going down that road again. That could be Odell Beckham Jr. for that injury. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's small like really. Little. I feel excited. Of course he is. Yeah. Come on, you upset, my dude? I want a defense, man. All these defensive players on the board. We could have picked somebody on defense, man. But then the good ones are not going to be there. Come on, man. No. I don't know if they're all this year. I think it's two and two. You might have another number two tomorrow. Oh, number three. Oh, she like she about to go to a cabaret, bro. Okay. Girl, I had to put the pink outfit on. It was a hurry, man. It was a hurry. Sad day for my shit. Sad day. Your fan base is excited. And you look as you look as sad. You look like Sartell Jr. Come on now. You look like Sartell Jr. right now. Like someone stole your heart. Look. Like someone stole your heart. We're going to the Giants or what else? We're going to New York. We're going to New York. We're going to New York, bro. We're going to buy the bar out. We're going to get some Gucci bags. Some Fendi bags. Are you good, my man? Are you good? You got to get a picture. Are you good? You good? My son, you 
Tyler said the path is on me. All right, Troy. <laughs> See you all right. We'll be here. He is, man. Y'all know I'm a yeah. damn fool, man. <laughs> well, she, hey, he, he is, <laughs> man. <laughs> You can't tell me shit. Oh, I thought you did. You said, oh, man, that's what you said. You okay with you get long? You're gonna see. New, new. You gotta drive home at some point. But she is not happy, yo. Hold on, somebody put the camera on the machine right quick. The camera's on the machine. The camera's on the machine. Hey, I see that face in search of me. I know, right? I can make the jokes now because we don't got them. Sartan 2.0. Sartan 2.0. I'm done, bro. <laughs> I'm not. No, no. After Neil Jones got his dick picked. Shout out to all my guys. After y'all got his dick picked. Shout out to all my guys. I don't feel too bad about that line. I'm not going to go home. I'm going to go home. Put the camera on receipt right quick. The camera's on all my shit. Thank you.